when the draft was introduced by President Wilson, it got mixed results. Um, a lot of Americans were feeling very patriotic and, and wanted to join up, but there were other pockets of the United States. In the South, for example, there were a number of Southern citizens, not so much because of the Civil War and, and, and um, lingering effects of being you know, the Confederate Association, but more of, in, in thinking of it also in today's terms of a rich man's war where poor men are fighting it. And you mentioned at the very beginning of our discussion about the agrarian country, and of course the South has a lot of uh, farmland, a lot of farmers, and that time there were a lot of tenant farmers, and, and the wealth distribution in the country was not equal by any means. So there was a fair amount of animosity in the sense of wanting to register for the draft and even serve in the military by Southerners. But slowly that kind of dissipated and by and large most of the country was joined together in an effort. Even though even some you know, congressmen and senators said, hey, this really isn't our war, Mr. President. Why are we getting involved in it? This is a European war. But by and large, as I say, uh, most Americans joined up and got together and, and participated.